All right, folks. The full details of the Terminator 2 collaboration is out. So let's take a look. But it's practically a marathon from January 12th to the 26th. Two weeks. Get ready for a surprise. If you know what that reference is from, you get a cookie. It's a Schwarzenegger film. But <laughs> only two weeks. Only two weeks. So it's like the ship TVP 100 marathon. But the difference is you don't get the premium tank at the end. You get only two commanders. If you buy the improved pass, you get the tank. So a little bit askewed from the ship TVP 100 marathon. Yeah, a little bit. But let's see the commanders. See you in another timeline. Eh. Oh, that was close. Sounds a little bit older than a 10 year old, but close, right? The engine's acting up. We're barely crawling. It's, it's good enough. Oh, this one. Oh, no. I need your clothes, your boots, and your tank. Uh, Come with me if you want to live. Give it. Give it the Austrian accent of Arnold. <laughs> My mission is to protect John Connor. No, that is way too generic. No. You, you, um, no, give it the Arnold accent. That's what we want. Ugh. An ally has broken down. No, that's, that's not terrible. <laughs> Are we fighting against real commanders or cyborgs? Not that it matters, really. A little bit of an attitude with There's Sarah Connor. To remember me by. No way! We lost our entire crew! A little bit tryhardy, I think, with Sarah Connor. A little bit. Those were hot greetings from Sarah Connor! Yeah, a little bit. Oh, trying too hard. <laughs> Fire! As if we haven't got enough to do. Yeah, a little bit tryhard with Sarah Connor. You tone that down a bit, right? Her attitude does not match in the movie. No, 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 no. This is Judgment Day. Some of you guys the fate mentioned of mankind has decided annihilation. Some of you guys mentioned that he sounds like Virgil in Devil May Cry. Foolishness, Dante! Foolishness! <laughs> I need more power. One more of those hits and we'll need a new vehicle. Yeah, he kinda he kinda does sound like Virgil in Devil May Cry. It will be impossible to penetrate at that angle. The first line is the closest one. <laughs> okay, enough. You get your decals, you get your stickers or paint job. It's all right, doesn't matter. Um, it's mostly the tank, the T32M. They call it the T832, whatever. But massive assault unit. Uh, it has the special effects, I think, for the eyeball or the laser eye, maybe. I don't know, but it's a T32M practically. So has a different gun barrel compared to the actual model a little bit uh yeah it has the accuracy has the aim time doesn't have the dpm they don't have the dp what start the engine oh it's back to the beginning oh whatever all right uh basically basically if you are free to play player it's all right you get some uh, special bounty equipments, you see some credits, some premium days, two commanders if you grind. But if you grind that hard throughout the whole freaking marathon, I don't think the rewards are justified, right? I mean, you're grinding 50 stages for a battle pass, practically. To get that? Nah, kind of lame. But if you fork over the gold, 3,500, you get a lot more stuff out of it. You get the tank, the premium tier 8, premium days, free XP, a bunch of boosters for credits, which is kind of important. But holy crap! <laughs> the rewards are dramatically different compared to the base rewards. <laughs> Ugh. It's not really worth, I think, if you're grinding your ass off and not getting the improved rewards. So. Yeah, the, the reward amount is dramatically different. Ugh. Uh, you can buy the two different commanders. I thought it was just one bundle. It's two different bundles, but... Uh, you're only able to get the John Connor and the TA-100s commander for free, but... Ugh. So... 
Yeah, you have to fork over 3,500 gold for the improved pass to get the actual good stuff. Alright, fine, whatever. So only two weeks. Two weeks, but... Uh, for the actual guide... What the hell is this? Oh, explain what the hell is a battle pass. It doesn't matter. We already know. So, basically fork over the 3,500 gold to get the actual good rewards, practically. Otherwise, you're wasting your time, mostly. Uh, theme decals. Why the hell are they in like a, like a collectible card foil? I don't know. Okay, whatever. Okay. Uh, Judgment Day, blah, blah, blah. Battle pass points. So basically, if you do good, you get more points. 50 points per chapter or per stage. And after 50 stages, you get the whole chapter completion or the whole thing completion. So the marathon finished, but there's a point limit to different tiers. Obviously, if you play higher tiers, you get more points, but I uh, highly recommend you grind tier 6 because you get 15 additional points if you reach 100. So the most efficient one out of all of these. So basically grind a bunch of tier 6 to 100 points. You get a lot of bonus, but eh, you should be good. Uh, also, the daily missions. I forget. They should have it. Uh, battle pass point daily missions so once you finish the daily missions it gets you more points so I don't think we're having frontline or are we having frontline in this time frame I have no idea but mm. so basically getting improved pass is the best one <laughs> otherwise you're just getting two commanders so yeah improved pass is where you want it's only 3500 gold that is a lot better than normal battle pass. Normal battle pass, you get like a bounty equipment or that's practically it for the final. You get a premium tier 8 in this case, but it's a copy of a normal tier 8. I think it's justified. <laughs> yeah, you get, yeah, the rewards are substantially better with improved pass. So spend the money. It's only 3,500 gold if you already participate in all the ops, but uh, thinking on it, the only reason to justify a T32M is having it for 3,500 gold after a grind, but it's practically <clears throat> the same as a T32, except it's a premium with better accuracy, better aim time at the cost of DPM, dramatic cost of DPM by 400 or so. Horsepower per turn ratio, mobility, all the same. Health, the same. So, here's a T32M compared with a T32. And DPM gets cut by 400 points, which is pretty huge, but it gets better aim time, better accuracy, better dispersion while moving the turret. And slightly slower effective traverse. Why? It has better horsepower per turn ratio. Huh? Okay. It has better horsepower, but why less effective traverse? The hell? I have no idea. So that's a T32M. It's practically a copy of a normal tank as a premium. So yeah, only way of justifying it is for it to be cheap, like 3000 gold or 3500 gold. But yeah, it's okay. It has a skin. As a special Terminator effects, I guess. Okay. <laughs> it's a freaking copy and paste. Oh. Well, it has a skin, so that's a big deal. Wow, the bundles for Sarah Connor and T1000 is kind of expensive. 5000 for just a commander? And... Credits, personal reserve, but geez, that's expensive. Not really worth. Um, 500 bonds. <clears throat> that's good, but 3,000 gold is still kind of expensive. Uh, these two bundles are not really worth. Not really. I mean, the voiceover is also not that great. Unless you're counting Virgil, but okay. <laughs> yeah, that's practically it. So, it's a marathon. It's a marathon, and you have to spend the money to get the better reward. So, 
for a free to play or free to play player, it's whatever. You get two commanders, some rewards along the way, so it's not that big of a deal. But if you really want to go for it, you have to spend the actual 3,500 gold for the improved pass or improved rewards. Definitely. But two weeks, it's, it's fine. So what's funny is there's the same event on Blitz, but the trailer is different. So let's take a look. After devastating explosions all over the planet, hundreds of thousands of vehicles have been destroyed. Survivors faced a new nightmare, the war against the robots. The supercomputer that controlled the machines, Skynet, has sent Terminators to the past. Their task is to eliminate John Connor, the leader of the Resistance. That's an M6! <laughs> It's so much better with the voiceover for Sarah Connor, right? I don't know. <laughs> That's an M6! Okay. Come with me if you want to win. Also, the voiceover for the Terminator is a lot better. Come with me if you want to. Well, it's a lot better. Holy crap. Wait, let me re listen to the voiceover. Come with me if you want to win. It's a lot better! Oh. We don't know how many Terminators Skynet has sent. Our job is to destroy them all and to save John Connor. Each one of you has received a chip-based pass and a series of missions that need to be completed. If you want to destroy more Terminators and get Wait, John Connor is a Panzer 38T? An A? It modify armor of a Panzer 38T, but <laughs> okay. Terminator is an M6. More rewards. Use a chip. The T1000 is a Yo tank. Uh, is it the three Yo? Well, it's one of the which. Base premium. Oh, that's sick! To give you many more opportunities. <laughs> that to is show your true worth. Terminator. Are you ready to fight for the future of humanity? Terminator voice on Blitz is a little bit better. Slightly. It's not as cringe, but doesn't still have the Arnold accent. Give it the Arnold accent, please. <laughs> and that's practically it. Uh, yeah, that's practically it. They have it for the whole month? Wow. Uh, it's not that bad, but yeah, it's an M6 with a skin. Eh, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> also, what's funny is because the Russian server is separate from Wargaming altogether, it's Lesta Studio now, they get nothing. <laughs> the same thing with Warhammer, they don't get any collaboration with Terminator 2, they don't have it. <laughs> Their upcoming is this teaser. Хватит. Теперь я говорю. Все это ерунда. А вот у меня есть кое-что стоящее. Только сможете ли вы это получить? Вы не понимаете, кто я. Чего хочу? А ведь подсказки были. Мы смотрели, но не видели. Хватит. Теперь я говорю. Все это ерунда. А вот у меня есть кое-что стоящее. Только сможете ли вы это получить? Вы What? не понимаете, кто я? Чего хочу? А ведь подсказки были. Мы смотрели, но не видели. Не справились с первым заданием. Что ж, скоро встретимся. That is likely coming soon in Russian, I'm guessing, but <laughs> what was that? That was what was that? There's nothing in that trailer. Is it the Witcher? I'll be I'll be super jelly if it's the Witcher, but it's not. It's definitely not. <laughs> what the hell is that? They don't have anything. So there you go folks. Uh T2. It's a marathon for 
improve reward. So you have to fork over the money to get the tier A premium. Now, what I recommend, what you do is don't pay for the improved pass just yet. If you get far enough, you can buy the improved pass and all the rewards afterwards. But if you decide not to, you're like, oh crap, I have something to do on the 24th or 20th. You skip out and just like, I'm not going to make it. You don't have to actually wait and spend the actual money. So just wait until you get to full completion of the whole chapter thing to spend the reward to get to the final reward. Otherwise, you're paying money without a guarantee practically. So just wait until the last few days to buy the improved pass if you can make it to the premium tier 8. But it's all right. It's a <coughs> premium tag onto the T32 if you buy with 3,500 gold and some other rewards. So that's justified, but just make sure you're able to get to it before you spend the actual money. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, well, there you go, folks. T2 collaboration. It's all right. The voiceover could use a lot of work, but that's yeah, what do you expect? You cannot pay for the actual voiceover of reprisal roles. Also, what's funny, I think, is Linda Hamilton turned down T3. Terminator 3 because she wanted more money than Arnold, I think. And that's why she gave up on the whole Terminator series until later or something. But that's one of the trivia. But T T3 was alright. I guess. It's okay. It's not it's not as good. Nowhere near as good as T2, but whatever. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. The enemy is covered in fragments. Continuing the fight. Uh, it's like Virgil. A little bit. <laughs>